Hey guys, I um, it's Tammy from Fight For You Coaching and I hope you guys are ready for a really beautiful weekend and ready to enjoy the outdoors. I just wanted to hop on really quick today and share with you guys some of my thoughts and some stuff on warm weather, food storage, and um, some safety tips. As we get ready to head to the lake, to the ball games, just even to the park for a picnic, sometimes I think we get in a hurry and we forget how the safety that we need to keep our foods um, so that we simply don't get sick. So some of the tips that I'm gonna share with you today is, um, one of the thing is, is that if you don't keep your food at the right temperatures, especially in the hot weather, heat causes bacteria to go crazy. It just grows and grows and grows and multiplies very quickly. So especially with cold food, you wanna make sure that you keep it cold and hot food, believe it or not, you want to keep it at a certain degrees as well. And I'll share that with you guys. So let's um, talk about f cold food. Cold food, cold, ugh, tongue tied today. Cold food is really important to keep at 40 degrees or lower. And um, it's good, you guys, to keep a food um, thermometer with you everywhere you go. They're cheap. Um, I have one that I absolutely love. It's a digital one. I got it for like 10 bucks at my local grocery store, and um, I'm sure that you can find cheaper ones, but they're really good things to carry around. I have a meat thermometer and a regular thermometer to kind of keep track of my food safety, and though that may seem like an inconvenience to you guys, it's something that you really need to um, consider doing so that um, you keep your food safe, because trust me, if you get one of those food-borne um, illnesses, you're gonna be sick for about 10 days, and trust me, it's a sickness that you don't want because it's really horrible. Um, so, a few of the tips are, when um, make sure that you keep plenty of ice, make sure that the ice isn't melted, that they're cool, make sure that you keep the lids on your cooler closed. Um, also, so that you don't spread infection from one food to the other, keep your meats separate from like your fruits and vegetables, and then keep your drinks separate from anything, because think about it. Can you imagine what's on the outside of those bottles of things that you're drinking and they're coming in contact with the food that you eat? That I'm gonna leave up to your imagination, but just think about it. So when you throw everything together in a cooler, you're causing um, just more bacteria and bigger chances to become sick. Um, make sure that you um, clean your grill a lot. Also make sure that you wash your fruits and vegetables. You guys think about it. Um, as they sit there and they, you know, numerous people, I don't know about you guys, but when I go to the grocery store, I kind of shift through the fruits and vegetables to um, pick out the best kind. So all the germs and everything that's on people's hands, and then that can pass a bacteria there, and then you don't properly store them and you don't properly wash them, they can pass that bacteria on to you. So just a few cold food safety tips. Some more food safety tips is you need to remember to keep your food 140 degrees or above when you're keeping it warm. You need to make sure that you're cooking your food thoroughly, um, especially ground beef. Though you guys wanna do this medium or this rare, that um, it, I'm gonna talk about a couple of the most common foodborne illnesses, and that's where one of them majorly comes from is raw hamburger. So you need to make sure that your burgers are well done. Again, don't mix it with your fruit and vegetables. You don't want to cross-contaminate. Make sure that if you're cutting meat up on a cutting board, you're out at the lake or before, or you're preparing before you go, that you don't cut up vegetables on the same cutting board that you cut up meat because you're going to get cross-contamination um, cross there as well. Um, so just a few tips on hot food. You want to keep it at 140 degrees or more. Wrap it well and place it in an insulated container. You can get a lot of those insulated containers at Walmart. You know, they have like the silver lining in them. And then no longer than one to two hours do you want to keep it from putting it back in the fridge. Um, and I would stick around that one hour. You don't want to leave the food that you've cooked on the grill or if you're at the lake, set out all day in the hot sun because I promise you it's getting bad. Cold food, keep it 40 degrees or lower once served. Don't keep it out any longer than two hours. And even when you have it out, you guys, make sure that you just, it's easy, just bring like a, like a tub or something, fill it with ice and set those bowls inside those ice to keep, to keep that food really cold. Um, so 
I'm going to go over some tips with you right quick. Make sure that you wash, 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 wash again and wash again. Keep some water, clean water at the lake with some soap and water to prepare your food. Wash your utensils and um, dishes often. Don't use what you're grilling with and then leave it set for a couple of hours and go back and use it. Make sure that you wash it often. Um, make sure you're washing your fruits and veggies. Keep things cool. Make sure you have a meat thermometer and keep your warm foods warm. Um, keep non-perishable snacks around when you're going out to eat. Then you can, you're guaranteed that um, your food is safe. Always carry a cooler with ice packs or gel packs to keep your cold food in. Um, and one other thing that I wanted to visit with you about is foodborne illnesses. If you don't follow these rules and these tips that I'm going to give you, um, the two most common are salmonella and, um, well, the most common is salmonella. And you guys, it comes from contaminated eggs and poultry meat, and you can get really sick. You can get diarrhea, flu-like symptoms, and it can put you out for five to 10 days. Another really common one that we see a lot of is E. coli. And that is from that is the one that you get from undercooked hamburgers. And again, you can get bloody diarrhea with this. You can get flu-like symptoms, and you can be out again for five to ten days. And you guys, you get really bad abdominal cramping, and you can get really sick with these diseases. So make sure that you guys are paying attention to um, your food safety when you're out and about this week and in the warm weather and for the rest of the summer. And again, always check out my blog for a few more details. And the internet is a great resource if you guys have any questions. And as always, you can ask questions below. I hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon.